Content creation is easier now. With the help of AI, everyone can create outstanding content nowadays. That's why many niches become oversaturated. Don't worry, today I am gonna share another niche that has a huge demand but lower competition. This is actually your last chance to ride the wave of this trend, but you have to move fast so you can take advantage of it. This viral niche is the easiest to create monetizable videos and go viral instantly on TikTok. Not only that, you can also get that long-form YouTube money with a secret method that I will be revealing in this video with proof. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Let's see some results together first. Starting with this TikTok account that is getting millions of views per video using this exact video formula. What are some unethical life hacks? If you're stuck on an annoying call. And these are some other accounts doing the same. All are sharing Reddit stories. And it's very easy to make this kind of video. Let's start creating. To make a video our need is a story from Reddit. Obviously, it doesn't have to literally be from Reddit. And a retention grabber like a Minecraft parkour video, subway surfers, or GTA 5 gameplay. The majority of the people doing this are all using Minecraft parkour, so it will be a better idea to use something different. Then, we will need voiceover and captions. That's all. Let's get into it. Let's create an actual Reddit story video. First things first, go to CapCut.com. CapCut is an AI-powered video editor with a huge collection of tools and templates. You can use the online version if you don't have a highly configured PC, or can use it on your mobile phone. If you want to use it online, you have to create an account. I will use the desktop version, as it is already installed on my PC. Now we need some background videos. You can record your gameplay and use it as your background. If you are not interested in playing games like me, you download it from YouTube. To do that, we are going to search for Minecraft Parkour gameplay on YouTube. You will find a vast number of results. But all are not safe to use and could be a copyright issue. To avoid any copyright issues, click on the filter icon and then select Creative Commons. OK, now select one of them. I will select this one. Now to download this video open a new tab and search for MP4 YouTube Downloader, then click on any website. After that, paste the video link you want to download the hit the start button. Select the highest video quality and download the video on your device. Alright, our background video is ready. Now we need to collect a Reddit story. Let's collect some real Reddit stories. If you don't have an account on Reddit, create an account first and search for any story subreddit. I recommend checking out one called Confession, where people post their confessions. Click on top to filter the stories to the most popular ones. Then select all time to find the best stories. You'll discover a lot of interesting ones to choose from. Some might be quite depressing. This subreddit is pretty intense. I will select this one. After selecting the story, take a screenshot of the title with any tool or default tool. After taking the screenshot, insert the background video and Reddit screenshot into CapCut. If you are using CapCut online, click on Create a new video, then select the aspect ratio. After that, hit the click to upload button from here. And then upload your media. And if you are using the desktop version, just drag and drop it into the media bin. Insert the background video into the timeline. Now click on the ratio icon from here and then select the aspect ratio as 916. Now adjust the background video size to fit the entire screen. You can split and remove the starting part of your background video if there is any kind of intro or other unnecessary elements. After that, insert the screenshot into the timeline too. Adjust the size and positions. Move it upward, make it slightly smaller, and position it accordingly. Now select the image and come to the right tool panel. Click on the Animation tab from here and then select a ride slide animation. Alright, now it's time to add a voiceover. Go back to Reddit and copy the whole story. Now you can record your own voiceover or generate voiceover with text speech tools like Eleven Labs, Muff, or Lovo. CapCut can also generate voiceover from your text. Today I will use CapCut voiceover. If you are using the online version, then come to the Caption tab and select the manual caption. Now paste the Reddit story as a caption. After that, come to the right side and then select the text-to-speech tool. First, select your video language and then select one voice actor from here. For example, I am selecting the male storyteller. Now CapCut will generate voiceover for you. 
and it's really natural sounding. After generating the voiceover delete the caption, because it's not synced with the voiceover. We will generate it again. Now, if you are using the desktop version, then, come to the text tab from here and then select add text. Drag and drop the default text into the timeline. Now paste the story into the right side text box. After that, click on text to speech from here. Like the online version select a voice actor and then hit the start reading button. And our voiceover is ready. Don't forget to delete the text. After generating the voiceover, adjust the background video length according to the voiceover length. Alright, now I will generate the caption. Come to the text tab again and then select auto caption from here. Change the language if needed and then hit the create button. CapCut will generate a caption for us. And this time it's perfectly synced with the audio. Now we have to customize the caption. Change the font. Always use a bold font on caption. After that change the color if you want. You can use effects like stroke to make it visible in every scene. Or can use a background on the text. After that, come to the animation tab and then select caption from here. Select the pop-up from here. Because then your caption will appear word by word. Alright, we are nearly at the end of our video. Before exploring the video. You can add some b-roll footage to make the video more engaging. You can add videos, images, GIFs, or sticker. All are available on CapCut for free. To add images or videos, go to the Media tab and then click on Library. Now you can search for your desired images or videos. I will recommend giving proper time to add the B-roll footage. And if you want to add any stickers, then come to the Sticker tab from here. You will find a vast number of stickers here. Alright, after completing visual editing, come to the music tab here. Here you will find a vast number of music clips. You can add one of them as your video background music. Or can use free music from YouTube Media Library. After adding background music, adjust the volume. Alright, our video editing is completed, now let's export the video. To do this click on the export button, change the video title and directory if you want, and after that hit the export button. CapCut will take some time to render the video. Let's fast forward this part. And our video is ready. Let's see the result. I slept with my daughter's ex-boyfriend. He got me pregnant and I had an abortion. They got back together and got married. This was back in, let me think, maybe 1997. I was 38 and my daughter was 18. And she was dating Harry, who was 24. I was an alcoholic and dabbled in other drugs, mostly cocaine. I was not a good person, let alone mother. Not like I was abusive to my daughter or anything but I was generally inattentive and cared more about my alcohol and drugs than her, especially in her teen years. I am 14 years sober now. Disproved of my daughter dating Harry, but I never told her why. He would flirt with me constantly, and the age difference also creeped me out. Also. He was an alcoholic and drug user, just like me. She broke up with him over his alcoholism. Soon after she moved away, not too far but regardless she didn't live with me anymore. Harry kept calling me and asking if we wanted to get drinks. I turned him down, but then one day he said he had a bunch of coke and I couldn't resist. He came over, we did the coke, and we ended up having sex. I think it's a good Reddit story video as we see as the example. You can make it more better. Now you have to just upload this video on TikTok or YouTube to gain quick success. Alright, friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear about your experience of creating Reddit story videos with AI. Share your thoughts and results in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating!